kupeleka See my life in chasa The sky is the limit, same objective nege nasa yes. I'm about to make it rain in mi macho gasa Now we go in places zanzi, abracadabra My vengi go get a life, eva jatadabra yeah. I'm a game ch- Good evening ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Simuka Pakama Stand-Up Comedy Series. My name is Doc Vikela, I'm your host for tonight, and tonight's episode is nothing but fireworks. But before I get into that, I have a confession to make. I know I always make confessions. I've stopped drinking beer. I've stopped drinking beer. Beer made me lose, because beer made me, like beer has weaknesses. It made me weak as a man, because sometimes I'll be drunk, and then... Instead of dealing with real issues of like, you know, put your money up there. It would make me lose a compaction. But now I, I found my, I now smoke weed. I tell you, weed is, is gold. Weed holds you together. With weed, you can start with a, with, with a solution to any problem that you don't even know. Weed, my name is Toron. Javan, tell us a king. I'm not sure I'm not sure I'm not sure but I'm not sure I'm not sure I'm not I love we, we, yo, what's that, do you know what guys now I know why ZBC is every day do you know why because there is the prejudicial understanding that Jesus is a man you know what ZBC is a man you know what ZBC is a ZBC if you are high you can hear a song and when they start the news, the best ever. Man, you can come to Zimbabwe. Heads no in now. Did you hear me? Gonna ever? Ah, ever? Stop it! Ever? Like you feel like what I'm doing with son. When the when the indaba comes, if you are high enough, you go there. Umunga melewe lizo hambe jikelele wafani fula machina wata hai. You start dancing to the rhythm. Are you ready for tonight's performer? All the way from overseas. Simuka is going international. Please help me welcome the one, the only, Clive Chikubu. Yeah, yeah. Cut the music. Now if you are in Zimbabwe and you see someone this excited, you have to know he was part of the $15 billion deal. Now I'm going to be like my knees and go straight to the point. I'm a 30-year-old man with a 3-year-old daughter. When she sees me, she sees a father with no support structure. Yeah, this is the Zim economy. Very weak. And my wife calls them them Tuli Mube. Because of the, the classes. But trust me, folks, I try and be a better man because when I watch it on TV, them working out, it's easy. Wake up, stretch, and squat. But with me, it doesn't end well. I wake up, stretch, and. Okay, sound guy, next time just switch off my mic. Because I have resorted to a civil servant diet, sugar beans. It's not good for performers. But I try. Like I said, it doesn't end well. But my daughter loves me the way I am. Skinny, flabby, just like the way we love our dying Zimbabwe. The four, the land of the forefathers. The once bread basket of Southern Africa. Now it's just a basket. Nothing. But this is the home of three generations. Zimbabwe has got three generations that are living together. The first generation is the one that enjoyed free Bantu education, free milk, free deposit deals. Everything was free. If you ask him today, they tell you, I miss Rhodesia. But you're like, you were oppressed, dude. You're not allowed to go to town. Like, yeah, yeah, you're going to town. What are you buying? Yeah, nothing. Because you are paying for your bills, your free education, your filmic. We are paying. And that's the second generation, my generation. Man, we are so, so frustrated. Very frustrated because even when someone is doing good, we don't know how to compliment. We hate. Right now, there is someone watching this show and still thinking, yo, this boy is skinny. <laughs> ah, those toothpicks. 
How is he still standing? Yeah, it's Parama Simuka. Focus! Focus! But that's my generation. I understand. It's not hate. It's love. It's tough love. Just like township, tough love. I knock you on your shoulder. Instead of saying sorry, I say sweet. <laughs> tough. Even to the gay guys, you knock him off the shoulder. Tough luck. Sweet. <laughs> because he understands. And then there is this third generation that my daughter belongs to. This generation, these smart toddlers, Zimbabwe is number 2000. This these are very smart. These are the people that will change Zimbabwe because they don't know it, but they are living the true reality of democracy. These guys, they're free-minded. They tell it like it is. This other day, on a Sunday afternoon, after a heavy meal, I'm sitting with my pastors. I stand up and go to the toilet, come back after 20 minutes. She looks at me with a smile. Daddy, you fell at the pool. <laughs> Yay. Daddy, guy at the pool. They're very honest. And I believe these guys, I have to be a leader for these guys, for her, just to drive her. And I know leadership qualities. One of the best things is to be honest. Every leader should be honest. If you are part of a movement, you have to be straightforward. No corner, corner. So I tell my daughter the truth. I school her with Wu Tang clan lessons. Because Wu Tang is for babies. I teach her all the time. I tell her the truth. I said, my daughter, if you want to be a leader, a wise man once said, it is better to lead from behind and let others in front, especially when you're celebrating victory and when nice things are okay and be on the front line when there is danger. And those, my daughter, are the words of Nelson, not Chamisa, Nelson Mandela. Ah, Chamisa, danger, front line, never. That's why I think our protests should be have a little bit of pimping. We need ears in our protest. Because those dance groups, they know how to freeze. No gunman will shoot someone who freezes like this. And also another key factor is communication. A good communication is a great tool for being a great leader. I communicate with my daughter very well. And that's why when she was born, her mother said, no baby talks in the house. Why? Talk to her nicely. That's why a baby grows up and can't even pronounce clinic. Sorry, clinic. He's been there for a few minutes and I'm speaking like him. <sighs> focus, Clive. Okay, another key factor, focus and drive. You just have to focus. You know, every leader always stays focused and they think rationally all the time. They think. But with me, Zimbabwe has got little water. It's hard to think straight because some days I might be constipated and you know you can't think right when you're full of shit. It's very hard. Communicate with the child, so I communicate, and every time I take responsibility. Because every great leader should take responsibility, especially when they're failing. Now, the only good thing is that when you take responsibility, when you're failing, be able to find a solution in every problem. The problem with me and my daughter is that when she's dancing, she's twerking innocently. Because that's what she sees on TV, music channels. Political rallies. <laughs> She's twerking. But I, you know, when, you, when you're watching your daughter, it's very hard now because I'm like, hey, 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 stop that. But Teddy, you smile when mommy does it. It's different. <laughs> it's very hard. I, I don't have to be harsh to her because she's a girl, you know. Try and keep it calm, you know. Positive attitude. That's what every leader does. Positive. It's your duty to motivate and make sure you balance the mood of fun and productivity. You know, so I play with her all the time. Try and play with my daughter. She has her favorite game. Follow, follow, follow. Follow the leader. And when I'm wearing a short, I'm behind because of Mtuli Nube. You can't lead when there is Mtuli. Follow, follow, follow. Follow the leader. And two minutes later, I'm tired. I'm old, you know. 
I can't do this the whole day. But you know, she will look at me with those eyes that are very sweet. I'm like, okay, 10 more minutes. Follow, follow, follow. Okay. Now Teddy has to go and watch TV. So I'm sitting down. She's just follow, 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 follow. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to the toilet. She's like, follow, follow, follow. I'm like, okay, now we are using Zanu PF strategy <laughs> to make me do things using a song. You know, my generation, people always ask, why don't you guys change this thing? No, we were brainwashed. Right now, in every situation, whether you are broke in a bank queue, but there's this song that always plays in your mind. You just sit there and it motivates you. You just play it. You guys have been a wonderful audience. My name is Kev Chikubu. Yeah, yeah. Life Chikubu! Yeah, yeah! Mango Shinswira. I'm not sure if I'm a one. I'm one because I'm one. I'm too late. Like, like, no, no, I'm not a high. Like, no, no, I'm not a high. But I'm really appreciate what about what a job? No one will change. Like, no, not good. No one will change. What Like, when a job is ready, it's on a Friday. And it, uh, Saturday, you are see. Sunday, you are Dave. So, what do you know? Talk about the church. You get to go. We are in a tunnel. in church? And it, you know how like uh, hip hopers, like the gospel hip hopers. No, I get it. And I'm doing what you Dai tamari, na na zisoreru vengo dai tamari, and you are you're asking it, German boy, I'm just should not tease her. Should not see her. Should go have her. Because I got seen. Like you're you're not sure. I need. But when I'm not my very words, I know you know them. They're judgmental. When I go to the corner, they will be like, ah, endeka. Abam do ask me ra. Give me a J. Abo ano meru di endeka. Give me a J. I was ah endeka. Give me a chance. It's all confusing. This has been another exciting episode of Simuka Pagama stand-up series. Until next time, I've been Doc Fikela, and bye-bye.